two universities develop extraterrestrial quote unquote metal technology that can change shape and uh, re revert to what it was. Now, most of us who enjoy watching science fiction movies will probably have seen the sequel to James Cameron's Terminator, starring uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The first one came out in theaters in 1984 and was groundbreaking. Those who don't have the film or do not remember it well will wonder what a science fiction adventure has to do with two universities' research on liquid metals that can change shape. And keep reading and we'll, find, we'll understand. Now, the second Terminator 2, Judgment Day, was released in 1991 and was just as impressive, especially with the character being able to transform from liquid metal to human, being cut into pieces that could be reassembled or given a new shape. When we saw this, when we saw these, how many of us thought that one day they could become a reality or that this technology was already being processed in secret laboratories? How much more so that this technology may be of extraterrestrial origin received by Earth scientists. However, it seems that the time has come for imagination to meet reality. About 25 years after the release of the second Terminator film, researchers at the University of Sussex and Swansea in the UK have generated electric charges to handle liquid metal in two-dimensional shapes. And no, the research is not done in secret laboratories nor secretly from the world. The research presented October 17, 2017 at the ACM Interactive Surfaces and Shapes Conferences in Brighton with a live demonstration at the Jury in Brighton Waterfront, according to team leaders, opens up new possibilities for quote-unquote soft robots, but also for screens that can change shape. Although the results are very reminiscent of the movie Terminator 2, it's argued that creating 3D shapes is still a long way from reality as it's still very complicated. What seems most immediate to apply is the reprogrammable circuit boards as well as the conductive ink. According to Science Daily, in the article Liquid Metal Brings Soft Robotics a Step Closer, Yutaka Tokuda, research fellow working on the project at the University of Sussex, said, this is a new class of programmable materials in liquid form, which can be dynamically transformed from the simple shape of a few drops into many other more complex geometric shapes in a controlled way, emphasizing that the project is in its early stages. Professor Sri Ram Subramanian, head of Interact Laboratory at the University of Sussex said, in liquid and solid state at room temperature, one of the long-term visions of us and many other researchers is to change the physical form, appearance, and functionality of any object through digital control in order to create intelligent, skillful, and useful objects that go beyond the functionality of any current appearance of a robot. Do not the future intentions of the joint project between University of Sussex and Swansea, which is funded by EPSRC, entitled Breaking the Glass, Multimodal, Malleable Interactive Mobile Surfaces for Hands-In Interaction, bring in mind the bad of Terminator 2. Only if you are obsessed with evil aliens and hostile governments that want the evil of humanity. In my imagination, the author says here, in my thoughts, I'm already working on the possibility that various conspiracy theorists want this technology to be taken over by extraterrestrial allies as if the earthly scientists are completely incompetent. I'm sure that the idea that in order for this technology to reach its present stage, it owes it to many decades of testing on the wreckage of Roswell, for which some of its parts were supposed to be quote-unquote programmable material from uh, for a liquid form. That is, like those of the project of the two universities, and like the film of Exterminator, Terminator, but officially the Roswell incident does not exist, and what accompanies it are not non-existent rumors. So the only thing that is certain is that sometimes the science fiction precedes the scientific reality, which follows it breathlessly and with great effort, researchers and constructs uh, sometimes that uh, 
today already imagines as extraterrestrial technology, while at some point in the future it will be something very normal, such as the route from the gramophone to Spotify. And uh, this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.